You got clap, yeah? Alu gobi, alu gobi, hoi, hoi, hoi. Alu gobi, alu gobi, hoi, hoi, hoi. Sony si lerki, masti bhari baate. I'd like to take me see to a restaurant. We'd eat mutter paneer, alu gobi and eggplant. And welcome to another edition of MissyD.com on, uh, on www.missyD.com and this is of course Missy D TV. Um, if I seem a little bit flustered, I am. I'm a little bit peed off actually, to be honest with you, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, I've been having major problems with my camera this morning um, and I've done take after take. Normally I can do this on one take. This is like take 20 uh, and to be honest, I've had enough. I'm all sweaty and stuff. Look, you can see all my sweat. Do look nice. I know I look a bit crap as well. I went swimming this morning, um, but a good achievement, I must say. I normally do 40 lengths. Sorry, just checking myself out there. <laughs> Not that there's much to check out. <laughs> uh, 40 lengths in one hour. Today I did it in 55 minutes, which means I've shaved off five minutes, which is a very good achievement indeed. I'm hoping this records to God. Oh, please record this. Anyway. Um, I've got loads of shout outs and big ups to do and if I've got time at the end I will do that because I'm finding I, I talk and I talk and I talk and I can go on uh, by the time I know it it's like 12, 13, 14 minutes is gone just like that um, and then I forget to do things and stuff and then I, you know and then it just turns to, to a show that wasn't supposed to happen but that has always been my story even when I did radio I've done radio 15 years you know that right I think I've told you like a million times now but every time I did a show I plan to do a show in this direction and it always go that direction um, so uh, that's just me uh, I'm a bit ditzy like that I suppose uh, but anyway right we're going to do shout outs and big ups at the end if I've got the time but firstly before I go any further I want to talk about the story uh, that is close to my heart and I feel very close to because a it's um, a story that has come through from Coventry um, and it's about uh, a solicitor that works at Hedemarnock. Uh, I know uh, the firm quite well as in if any if I need anything to do to get sorted out for the law I would always go to Hedemarnock. Um, in fact Hedemarnock escorted me to court once. I'm not a criminal. I'm not. It was speeding and uh, I got a seven day ban many years ago. Yeah um, so I wasn't happy but yeah I paid Hedemarnock a lot of money to do that when you know someone else could have taken me to court but apparently they've got to take me because they're my solicitor anyway that's a long long story to cut it short um yeah i've got a seven day ban but we're going to talk about um a solicitor her name is amadeep begraj um got married to vj okay what happened is them two worked at the law firm hirmanic and basically what happened is they fell in love uh, you saw each other one day over a cup of some uh, coffee and a samosa going mm, it's not bad so anyway they had uh, you know bit of a love affair going on uh, they decided to get married which is a nice thing um they they announced to the company they're going to get married uh, the boss or a senior manager in the company goes to the lady um, can i have a word please she was the jot her husband to be was a jamar and he took her to the side and he goes do you know what you really want to think about what you're doing and she said why and he goes well you know dating's one thing marrying is another uh, because he had a problem with her marrying um apparently according to the press uh, because she was a jot and he she was a jamar um she, once she got married she thought do you know what whatever i'm still going to get married to him so she did um they got married in leamington um and then since they went back to work the she, they made her life um hell they kind of gave her a, an extra ton of work that she couldn't do and kept dumping stuff on her and made her life hell in the company um when it came to celebratory stuff like they had a baby they didn't send her any flowers or a husband which is quite normal practice in that company um at a celebratory drink somebody kind of put the raised their drink it's empty and said uh, here's to another jock girl going down the drain disgusting and disgraceful is my opinion on that absolutely disgusting that stuff like that happens in today's age and in today's society um before i go on in this story can i just say to you that i am not a preacher uh, here on mrsd.com uh, the vlogs are an extension of my blogs although i haven't written a blog for a whole week because i'm loving doing the, the whole vlog the video thing uh, but it's an extension of of the blogs and i am not going to sit here and say i'm knowledgeable in everything and that you know i'm going to sit here and preach to you and i'm going to sit here and brainwash you and what i say goes and i'm right no 
all, all I'm going to do is going to give you my opinion uh, and my little bits of knowledge that I know and then it's up to you to interact with me and interact with the rest of the world on my blog. That's what the comment boxes are for below for you to start uh, a community, for you to start discussing things, for you to you know um, discuss with each other and give us your opinions because that's what it's all about. I don't think out there at the moment there is a, a, a really cool active forum for British Asians or even non-British Asians who are interested in the British Asian world to, to discuss and, and talk, okay? Yeah, you've got the radios, you've got the TV shows and stuff, but I don't think it's enough, okay? So all of you, get the whole of um, the UK, England, Scotland, Wales and the world to come here on my blog and start discussing stuff that is uh, relevant to us uh, and to you, okay? So yeah, um, basically this is a story about uh, discrimination because they were from two different castes which um, in my opinion is disgusting. Um, to be honest with you the caste system should not exist uh, because it causes too much hurt, too much pain, too much hatred and is totally unnecessary. If any Asian comes up to you, okay, you listening, an Asian and you have a discussion and they say to you Racism doesn't exist within the Asian community. They are talking bakwas. They are lying to you. Um, I'm Asian. I'm British. I born in, I've been born and bred in Coventry at the hospital around the corner from my house. Um, and basically, um, as I've grown up in today's society, there is racism um, that exists hugely within the Asian community. And a lot of that has got to do with caste. Basically, when uh, your parents have you, they kind of instill in you that, you know, there are different castes and when you are dating, make sure you date within your own kind, uh, meaning in your own caste. Uh, and when it comes to marriage, it sometimes causes a lot of problems. Not always, uh, but it's surprising how much caste does cause a problem. For example, I'm a Jat, uh, I'm Sikh, uh, and if I wanted to marry uh, maybe a Jawan, uh, then that would probably cause a problem. Um, obviously if I was going to call, if I was going to, I'm just saying hypothetically, I'm not saying it's going to because my mum's actually quite modern of thinking, uh, but uh, if I say um, was to marry a, a non-Asian, you know, an Englishman, uh, I don't think that would cause any problem because nobody would even asks what he cast is from. He'd be like, who's Christian? No, oh, lovely. Um, do you know what I mean? I'm not just saying my mums would ask these questions, I'm just saying society would ask these questions. Um, so there have been scenarios that I know within the Asian community uh, that basically causes a big rift and a big drama um, that is hugely unnecessary. Even to the extent that um, it's caused problems in, in castes that are, so to speak, lower than the higher caste. For example, in Sikhism, firstly, can I say that Sikh, the Sikh gurus do not promote the caste system. They abolished the caste system many, many centuries ago and said caste don't exist within Sikhism. We are all one. Uh, we are all one uh, got a ch child of God and um, we don't believe in the caste system. Yet, although our gurus have said that, the caste system still exists today and um, it, it is still causing bhangi. People still say, I'm a Jat, I'm a Jamar, I'm a Dakan, I'm a Ram Gariya, I'm a Saini, I'm this, that and the other and we don't mix. We will only get married in our, within our own castes and um, it's not right if you marry into a different caste. With, within, within my brain and in my heart and in my head, that's a load of bhagwas. Forget bhagwas, it's maha bhagwas. It shouldn't exist but it does exist. Um, to give you a very quick history lesson on, on castes, um, what, from what I know and the little bit of knowledge that I have on this and from talking to aunties um, and doing some research on the net, the caste system derives from Hindu society from many thousands of years ago. Basically, in Hindu society back way back then in the day, it was basically like this. It was like a, you, got, you got, say, India, okay? Um, and um, you got loads of Hindus living there, okay? Thousands of centuries ago, okay? Thousands of years and centuries ago. Um, basically what they did, they kind of cut society into different portions, okay? So imagine it like they were kind of went, okay, so this lo little section here, you're really good at um, banking, so you go and be bankers. This little section here, you can go and be merchants. This little section here, you can go and clean the streets. This little section here, you'll be really good at politics. This section here, you go and be goldsmiths. And basically they, they chunked it all out. As years went by, uh, the caste system obviously should have diluted, but it just carried on, 
okay um, and people took it seriously um, and then not even in, in Hindu society there are caste systems in place within um, the Sikh society within Muslims uh, Gujaratis um, Hindus who are basically the same thing but do you know what I mean um, anyone any of any Asian cultural background will tell you there is a caste system in place um, within their their little community um, and that causes major problems um, like I said, Sikh, Sikh gods have promoted and Sikh gurus have said it doesn't exist. Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, he stood against the caste system. Um, now in the Hindu uh, caste system, believe it or not, I went on the internet and I saw a pyramid. Not even one, but loads of diagrams of pyramids going, these are the top castes, these are the bottom castes. I mean, who are these people to say that people are better than them or people are worse off than them? Everyone is one. It is so bagwas, but anyway, yeah, so I saw this pyramid, and at the top of this pyramid, they've got Brahmins, who are supposed to be priests, then they've got Kshatriyas, who are warriors and rulers, then they've got uh, Vesiyas, who are skilled traders and merchants, blah, 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 then you've got the Sudras, who are the unskilled workers, and then you've got the Pariahs and the Harijans, who are the outcasts and the untouchables. Mahatma Gandhi stood against uh, the caste system, and he called the untouchables the children of God. That is what Sikhism promoted as well. Basically saying everyone is a child of God. Um, I'm not having an attack at the Hindu society, but what I'm saying is that every society, every religious background and culture that there is, you need to kind of get a life, you need to sort your lives out and you need to stop with the caste system because it is something that um, was alive and created centuries ago. But there's no need for to, to even um, how can it put someone down because of what caste they come from? Everyone at the end of the day, in my world, is equal. Whether you are Sikh, Muslim, Hindu, um, whatever, Bengali, it doesn't matter to me. You are a human being. And then you have these subsectors of caste and stuff like that. What's that all about? It needs to stop and it needs to stop now. I understand that a lot of this has been instilled from our Dadde uh, Pardadde, meaning our grand, great grandfathers, our grandfathers and fathers, etc., etc. Okay, um, but I feel that us educated, I'm not saying that we're educated, but I'm just saying us generations here, we don't even come from India. We're born and bred in this country. The caste system doesn't exist, yet you choose to follow it, some of you, I'm not saying all of you, because your parents have instilled that into your heads. You need to take that out of your head and you need to start instilling in different generations, um, in, sorry, in the next generations to come, that the caste system does not exist. Today is gonna be the day that we're gonna throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you're going to do. I don't believe that anybody misses the breakfast show with Missy D. Woo! Missy D, the word is on the street that you're very, very loud and proud. Go, girl, you keep it that way because you're loved by all around. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. I don't believe that anybody should miss the breakfast show with Missy D.